In our video today, I thought we would go ahead and take a look at how we can do sweeps. It allows us to create a few more advanced parts. So let's go ahead and get started here. So I'll go ahead and get a new sketch up. So we'll just start a new sketch. So let's go ahead and look at the paper clip. Something that will help us tremendously is to start on the origin. All right. So let's just, all I'm doing is just a basic paper clip here. And it's actually going to stay rectangular. So we'll do something like that just so you can see that we can sweep it. While I'm in here, I can fill it in sketch mode. And here's fill it. So I can come up here and just kind of click the corners. I'll just take the default for me, which is 0.2. And I'll just fill it the corners up. I okay, got something like that, okay? I'll go ahead and finish the sketch. And I gotta rotate a little bit because what I've got to do, I've created a path. Now I need to create a sketch that I can actually sweep. So I'm gonna actually go in here to origin and find a path or a plane that is perpendicular. So if I look, that one's in, that's the same one. So that's not going to work. That one could potentially work, but not for the paper clip. I think I need this one. So I'll right click on that and say create sketch. Now then I can come in here on the origin and I can just say, all right, give me a circle there that's, uh, I don't know, let's say 0.125. All right, and I'll hit finish sketch again. So you see what I've got here is I've got two sketches, right? I've effectively got a path, and then I've got a sketch that I'm going to sweep along the path. So now I'll go up here to create. Notice I'm in the features mode now. So I'll say create, and I'll say sweep. It says what profile. I need to change this. This should be single path, which is what the default is. So single path for my profile, I'm going to click the circle. For my path, I'm going to click the entire line. Sometimes this won't go all clean like this, so I might have to select each little segment, but most of the time it does okay. And I've got it. So I can define a distance here too. Instead of maybe instead of one inch, maybe I want it to be 0.25, or maybe I need it to be 0.35. You see, it can it can follow different areas of the path. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as one because that was enough. So there's your basic paper clip. I mean, that's how we do it. Let's take a look at something a little bit different. Here's perpendicular and parallel. All right, so I'm just going to make this this shape right here, and we'll do a sweep on it. All right, so let's go in here and let's start a new design. I'll just pick a plane here. I notice I get in the habit of starting on the origin. It makes life so much easier. So I'll say one inch, and then I'm going to come in here and I'll go to create, and I'll say arc. And I'll use a three-point arc and going to make it go one inch again and then I'll bow it up doesn't really matter the dimension then I'll take a line tool here and I'll go out another inch I got something like that okay so I hit finish sketch same thing as the paper clip so I'm going to go here to origin and I'm going to find a plane that runs perpendicular for me it's this YZ one again so I hit create sketch and then on the origin I'm just going to create a little circle and make it 0.125 again and hit finish sketch again so I've got something going like this same process so I'll go up to create and I'll say sweep so for this I'm just doing a single path again and I'll go ahead and just click the circle because that's my profile and for path I'll select the line now you see there's perpendicular well, what if I change this to parallel Instead of perpendicular, let's change it down to parallel. And let's rotate it around. So you can see in some of these cases, it gets more of a ribbon-like effect, right? So let me change this back now to perpendicular. And you can kind of see in these areas where it's straightened itself back up again. Well, let's talk about how to do a path and a guide rail. Something like this, where we can make like a grip or something like that. So let's start with a new design here. And this one involves three sketches. So the very first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go up here to create, and I'm actually going to use the ellipse tool. I'll click that, and I'll start on the origin. I'm going to make it go out like two inches, and then with my next movement of the mouse, I'm going to actually make this just do one. So now I'll hit finish sketch. So you see I've got something like that, right? Same kind of process. I'm going to go here to origin, and I'm going to find a plane that is perpendicular to that, so the XZ would work. And the YZ is not so much this time. So let's use XZ. 
So on this one, I'm going to just take a line tool. Actually, I'll, I'll take an arc. So I'll use the arc tool and three-point arc again. I'll just start here and go up to the two and just make a bendable arc. It doesn't really matter. And then over on the side, I'm going to still use that arc tool so we can see what's going to happen here. I'll go up, I don't know, maybe a half inch and bow it out. Come back on top of that. Maybe I'll take it the other way. And I'll just make a little pattern like that, okay? So something going on like that. Okay, so I'll hit finish sketch. And you can see what it looks like now. It's a little different looking. Let's rotate it around so you can kind of see what's happened here. There's something like this. Now we'll go up to create and we'll say sweep. This one's a little bit different. So we're going to have to go here for type. Instead of single path, we're going to say path and guide rail this time. So for my profile, I'm going to use the, the ellipse. Okay. For my path, I'm going to go ahead and choose the arc. And then for my guide rail, I'll choose this crazy concoction I made over here. Now, I can say full extents or I can go perpendicular to path. I can also choose path distance and guide rail distance as well. And hit OK. Alright, let's talk about how to do something like this, more of a like a braided rope. So I'll start this one. I'm just gonna create a circle up here. I don't know, I'll make it about an inch away. And I'm gonna make a half inch circle there. Now I'm gonna go up to create and say circular pattern. And it'll be circular pattern right here. It says, all right, what object? So I'll click the circle. And the center point here, I have to click in. And let's put six in there. I got something like this. Now I do have to create a line coming out of here. Remember, because a sweep requires a profile and a pathway. So I'm going to come back in, kind of like we've done before. Find me a... a plane that's going to run perpendicular, XZ would work, YZ would actually work here in this one too. Right click on it and say create. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a line up. I could if I wanted to, I could draw a curved line, right? Okay, so this is what I've got. Now notice I've changed over to the features, so I'm going to say create and I'll say sweep. This one is back to the single path. So for profile, I will click every circle that I drew or that I patterned and for path I'll click that line and you can see it puts them in there for us right now here's what we want to do though we want to say for let's let's just go to the twist angle for now let's put something like a 45 in there and you can see it begins to turn what if I add a zero to that so it's 450 now and you might have to give it a minute because it's trying to think when it does that so that might be a little much. Let's try backing that down a little bit. Let's try like 300 and see what that does. Each time you make a change though, you're going to have to exercise a little bit of patience on that. But you can see there's our braided rope. I can also, while I'm here, let's throw a taper on there. Let's try a one degree taper and see if we get any adjustments at all. You can see there was a little bit of movement there. Taper is going to make one end bigger than the other. Let's, let's go ahead and exaggerate this one up to be about five. Let's put a five in there and see what happens. So it looks like it moved around. Let's rotate now. So you can see there's a taper going on there. But that's how we would do a braided rope. Let's go ahead and figure out all about that pathway thing. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get this grooved edge going around the box here. So let's start a brand new drawing here. And I'll get me a, a box that's two by two. And I'll go ahead and extrude it to be one inch, something like this. Okay. I'm going to come back in here to sketch. And let's see what we can do here. Let's take a circle. And we'll draw it right there. I'm going to finish sketch. I'm going to rotate that around a little bit now. And now I'll go up here to create and I'll say sweep. Same place. This is going to be a single path. So we'll click. Maybe I'll click there. And now for pathway, I'm just going to click the top here. And you can see that it'll go around there. 